Okay, let's go really quick on uh, iCloud.com from any computer or any smartphone and uh, do a erase iPhone just in case that you forgot your passcode from your phone. This is a factory reset remotely from another device or computer. So let's go really quick and enter with your um, Apple ID, the one that you use on your iPhone to uh, download applications. Okay, next step. Uh, verification process but since we don't we are not able to access to your iPhone so let's go really quick and uh, touch find iPhone or if you uh, <clears throat> you can touch here and have them send a text message on your smartphone on the phone number associated with the account right okay enter the verification code sent your to your phone number And then confirm trust this browser, confirm trust. Okay, immediately you're gonna see a, um, a map or location of your iPhone or iPad. At the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see your iPhone name. So let's go and all touch there. And you're gonna see options underneath it. At the right side, you're gonna find erase iPhone. So let's go and touch erase our iPhone. And use erase this iPhone let's go and confirm continue and now you're gonna enter our password I glad uh, a password one more time okay so now with it, they send a passcode or verification code on the screen of the iPhone or iPad but since we're not able to log in uh, access because we forgot the passcode and this let's go and touch it and get verification code and then let's go and have them send to our phone number via text message instead. Okay, once you confirm the um, um, text message verification that they send you, the, you're gonna get to this uh, page. And now it's an option, you can enter a phone number. It's not, it's not necessary, you don't have to because uh, you have the iPhone. Uh, we are going to erase it anyway. So let's go and touch done. Okay, a message pop up on the screen says erase started, touch OK. And wait a few uh, seconds, um, a minute or less than a minute, you're gonna see your iPhone will start working. Okay, so just uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. And make sure your iPhone it has at least uh, like 25 or 30 percent of of battery. Okay. okay so this is what's gonna happen. Uh, it's going to perform twice. You're gonna once the the line filled in white from end to end. I was gonna turn down, turn off, and then power up again. Okay, once finished, this is uh, this is the message that you're, you're gonna get on your iPhone, phone locked to, to by the owner. So let's go in, unlock the screen of our iPhone. And now we are able to select the language and region. So let's go and select English and then United States. Uh, if you have any iPhone uh, or iPad information you want to transfer on this iPhone, just uh, quick start, set up manually and register a um, Wi-Fi account. OK, 
Okay, once finish and reach the Wi-Fi, just wait a few seconds. It may take a few minutes. Okay, so phone unlocked by the owner. Now go ahead and enter your Apple ID, iCloud ID, the one that you used to have on well in this same iPhone that you have forgotten your passcode. Okay, so let's go enter your information there. Okay, let's go next. Data privacy, continue. Face ID, you can go ahead and set up this later. Now create a passcode for your iPad, iPad iPhone. Uh, make sure to write it down, please, so that way don't you don't forget it. Confirm the same passcode. And this is a new passcode that you have to create for your iPhone, okay? So now, apps and data, um, I'm going to choose don't transfer apps and data for now. Apple ID. Now, this is the Apple ID that you need to register for uh, down, to download applica applications. So just I'm going to use the same Apple ID, and you're going to use the same Apple ID um, that you have previously on the iPhone. If you want to use a different one, at the bottom of the... So at the bottom of this uh, screen right here, if you go back to, go back to the previous page, you're going to see uh, use a different Apple ID, okay? If you want to use different, go ahead. You just enter Apple ID, email, and password. This iCloud account is the uh, same. Okay, let's go next, continue. Okay, now um, on the phone number, they're going to send you a verification code. Go ahead and enter that. Once you confirm the verification code, touch I agree. Okay, now the, the iPhone is asking you to enter the old password, the one that we just have forgotten. Okay, so don't worry about it, just touch don't know iPhone passcode. Okay, the only thing that's gonna happen here is that you can remember the passcode for iPhone. You can you can still sign in, but you won't be able to access any password or all or other end-to-end -end encrypted data stored in iCloud. Okay, so every time you you are trying to save a password, um, that's not gonna happen on your new iPhone. Um, the iPhone won't be able to save any uh, website history and things like that so but you are able to download uh, um, download um, applications on on the store and also you will be able to use uh, find my device and, and everything so don't worry about it just touch um, enter passcode later Okay, now make this your new iPhone, touch continue. Okay. It's going to take one or two minutes here to continue, so just be patient. Okay, next step, set up cellular, set up in settings. I would like to say that and skip. Um, Apple Pay, set up later in wallet. Don't use iCloud key change, set up later in settings, the city mode. Okay, so now swipe up to continue and welcome to your new iPhone, iPad. Now, remember, you have changed your passcode, so and use a new passcode to log into your iPhone, okay? Thanks so much for choosing my video. And in order for you to continue using uh, Find My Mobile and online location service is off, so you if you get this message when you log into your iCloud account. Let's go really quick and set it up. 
So on your iPhone, iPad, uh, settings, uh, let's go really quick and make sure that uh, Find My Mobile is on. And let's go really quick and fix the, um, let's go back here and scroll to privacy and security. And this is location service, it's off, okay? So that's why we got the error message. So make sure that it's on, please, because, you know, you, ne you never know what's going to happen in the future. If you get your iPhone, iPad, lo get lost, um, you can go log into your iCloud account and uh, track your device and also erase it remotely or uh, ring to find in case that you have your, you lost or your inside of your house and uh, no volume and things like that. So you can have your iPhone, iPad ring to find it even if the volume is off. Okay, now that location is on, let's go back and refresh our page here. Let's go and touch our iPhone. And now, it's, okay. it's gonna take a few minutes, so just um, uh, touch here, refresh. Okay, now Tony's iPhone is offline. Let's go and enable. Okay, now it's online. Okay, now you can touch here and there is no, no more message. And that means that your iPhone is already uh, on, on iCloud, ready to find and ready to erase, ready to set lost, mo lost mode and play sound. Okay. If you found helpful this tutorial uh, and you would like to leave some tips for the channel, uh, you can do it. So underneath of this video, you're going to see a uh, thanks icon. So um, you can do it there. But the most important, don't forget to subscribe, leave the like uh, key, and uh, let's keep in touch. Any questions, let me know in comment section. Thanks so much.